<laughs> Mine's bigger. Hey bitches, welcome back to my channel. I'm sitting here once again with you know who, Dustin. Dustin. <laughs> Love him so much, but we have so much to talk about this time around because a lot has been going on in the influencer world. Yes, it The has. beauty space. We're gonna talk a little bit about Michaela, and I have an update on Jeffree Star regarding the NFL player, which I don't even think is somebody that actually plays in the NFL anymore. I think that Jeffree is just trolling with that. But also, Nikita Dragon has come out of hiding. We just said her name the other day in a video, and you were like, oh, don't say her name three times. Let's talk about Nikita first, then, because okay. Nikita shocked the internet. She uploaded a promo like a preview for her OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are calling her out because they're like, why do you need to do OnlyFans? Because she supposed can to have... if well, she wants to. It's but a lot of people are like, you're supposed to have this successful makeup business, Dragon Beauty, even though I heard it's all on sale. If you want to get in your bag, Nikita, get your money. To be completely honest, I'm shocked that it took Nikita this long I to make an honest. OnlyFans. Prison must have changed her. Prison <laughs> she really jail, changed her. Girl. Oh, jail. Okay, so she went to jail, it changed <laughs> her, and now she came out and she wants to do OnlyFans. Good for her. I support it, and I really think that Nikita's going to be up there in the top earner she's going For to sure. make millions yeah probably. millions of dollars and that's just gonna piss people off even more i'm not mad about it like get in your bag get all the money you can oh speaking of only fans you know bad baby catch she me started outside, yes catch me outside girl she started her only fans the moment that she turned 18 years old and she made millions of dollars overnight and like broke records of how fast i people can't subscribed. say what i think about oh that. i'm going to i think that those people that waited till she was 18 were fetishizing her when of she course. was 17 and underage and they should probably have their hard drive searched because yes. i'm sure it's like teen porn it's like nasty, weird. nasty searches. Shame on y'all. Yeah, exactly. But good for her for getting in her bag because thing. honestly, she knew people were going to subscribe to it's her. It's the same thing as what happened with Billie Eilish. Like, she yeah. had to say how uncomfortable it made her feel when she turned 18. But Billie Eilish, to me, it always felt like she was older for some reason. Do you remember back in the day when, like, away, but, like, Lindsay Lohan was in her prime, Hilary Duff was in her prime, like, everyone, like, the teeny boppers, like, all of them, there was literally countdowns to them turning 18. It was on the front of, like, magazine yeah, covers. Yeah. Like, it was being celebrated that they turned 18 and now people could, like, fetishize them in some I'll do way. you one better. Do you remember when Perez Hilton did that, like, upskirt thing with Miley Cyrus? Yes. She was 17 years Gross. old. I do remember that. I do remember that. I just hope it's not a situation where, like, Nikita is baiting people into this and she's mm. saying that she's going to do X, Y, and Z, but she doesn't come through and then we have to make videos about it because, like, well, remember what happened with Bella Thorne? Let's just be honest. Nikita said that she's going to show her dick. Like, in the promo <laughs> video for this, she said that her dick is bigger than the two guys that were And it might here. be! <laughs> Mine's bigger. So she's promising to show peen. So I don't know if that is just, I, I kind of feel like it's gonna be like art photos because she does like have her banner where it's her like with her like ass up, but you can see like a bulge mm -hmm. and then like a see-through like white top. That's what I kind of feel like it's gonna be. I don't think that we're gonna see like Nikita like, Doing like hardcore stuff, like making that money, like Elio Knight stuff, like popping that pussy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. L she, listen, I she might know. because she might hmm. get in her bag and do those private videos because that's where all the money is on is. <laughs> OnlyFans. She should ask Tana because Tana makes a ton of money on over on OnlyFans. I like. I don't like. Tana shows everything on Instagram that she puts on OnlyFans. Like, it's not even really an OnlyFans yeah, at this point. Like That's true. But moving on from that, Jeffree Star is still being talked about because he is going back and forth with NFL wives in yes. his DMs. One of the wives actually, like, called him out in DM and said, like, <laughs> my husband plays for the NFL. I'm receiving, like, a lot of hate because of this. Could you please stop? Yeah. And so he turned around, just like in 2019, 2018 Jeffree, and he put her on blast on his Instagram story. How come people want to play with fire and then... When you light the match with them, they disappear. Um, this thing deleted her social media. I'm like, girl, don't be insecure about your marriage. I'm not a shady bitch. Um, you're not married, are you? Don't. <laughs> Do not say anything. You're gonna record your voice and do voice recording like FBI agents. Um. <laughs> 23 is all about a little bit of privacy, but also living your life to the fullest. That's what the pandemic taught me. Like, live every day like it's my last, do everything I want to do. Um, bitch, I started a ranch. Like, I did everything I want to do since day one. No f given, no apologies. And I've always just fully been myself. And I'm always going to be that. So, I'm going to continue to suck make lipstick and live my motherfucking life, girl. Thank you. So the heat does not mess around with married men. Do you think that Jeffrey is posting this 
straight like DL guy over on his Instagram and trying to like take a dig at James because James keeps getting called out. I saw a lot of comments thinking that it's some kind of like shade at James Charles. And I'm like, I'm a little bit there. Knowing Jeffrey, that probably is shade in my opinion, but I also think that this is him probably marketing and networking. Yes. This is somebody I think that he's probably actually friends with that he was like, let's stir up the masses. Let's get people talking because it's going to be beneficial for me. I mean, I wouldn't put it past Jeffrey to be paying this person. I'm not saying that to be mean, ugly, or rude but he might be. Well, not only did Jeffrey call out this wife of the NFL player, he said what team her husband played on. What? So apparently the lady, her name is Saren Anderson. She has now, She's like, beautiful, since, by the way. She has since deleted her Instagram. Jeffrey went on his Instagram story to say that she kind of, like, went running from social media after all of this. But he said, the NFL wife of Panthers player attacking me. Don't be so insecure. I don't mess with married men. All she said is that she's getting harassed because her husband is in the NFL and people think it's him. <laughs> Please well, stop. I mean, why do they think it's your husband? Oh, well, yeah, I get that. Like, why would they think it's her husband? But then it's like... This is getting so messy, though, over on TikTok with the people that are trying to out all of these NFL players <laughs> and saying that it's this person and it's that person. The craziest one that I've seen is that people are saying it's Tom Brady. Yeah, no, no. Because, and the reasoning was he's just going through a divorce. He is middle-aged, so therefore there must be some kind of crisis that's happening and Jeffree Star is the crisis. I don't know. It's getting messy. It's Definitely not Tom Brady, but the fact is that Jeffrey knows that people are going to talk about this. Yes. There's like, if he puts it on the internet, he knows people are going to speculate. He already knew that. So, I mean, he opened this can of worms up. I don't really see anything wrong with people trying to find out who it is. At the end of the day, we can't stop people from speculating because they're going to do it because it's Jeffrey Star. Okay, but it can get a little crazy though with this like stan culture because yeah, they're course. sending DMs, they're flooding comment sections. I mean, it's getting so bad that like people have had to like delete their Instagram accounts just because people think that their husband's gay. It's giving very like Michaela Cody type of situation. Well, the funniest TikTok that I've seen that came out of this, because you know over on TikTok, they're talking about how Jeffrey came back in and he's going to dominate the beauty space yes. now. I don't know if I believe but that. But no, I kind of think that Jeffrey is dominating the beauty space right now. You open up TikTok and all you see is people talking about Jeffree Star. But he's found his end girl. <laughs> but people, no, I believe that. Mm. But people are, are doing those Nelly Furtado, like, what is it? And I it, love the guy Nelly snaps. Furtado. Furtado. Furtado? Furtado. Furtado. Oh my God, but I'm a little The guy snaps and it's like, uh, <laughs> they're trying to reveal who they think it is and it's like Cody because he does have the same build and stature as the person that's in Cody the who? Michaela's man. Oh. Cody. Oh. oh. <laughs> That's why they've been so silent. She really is in her bag, and so is he. Oh, we're going to get dragged for that one. Huh, why? Who cares? I don't know. Oh, because okay. Because Michaela's going to be saying that Cody's been blowing her back out and all that I hope that shit. he has. I hope that he blows that ass out every <laughs> day. I swear to God, I hope that he Speaking of Michaela, oh Michaela, God. we're on day like seven or eight now of Mascara Gate. Silence. A lot of people said it's called Lash Gate and it's not Mascara Gate. Am I getting that wrong? I, like, Did they change the name and not tell me? I, I never uh, subscribed to the. Well, what do you prefer, Mascara Gate or Lash Gate? I think Lash, Lash Gate, Gate sounds better. Lash Gate does sound better. Why do I call it Mascara Gate? Because there has been people saying that. Um, well, anyways, Michaela is still not posting over on her TikTok, but nope. over here on YouTube, there is the channel like Michaela Makeup. She claims that it's not her. She doesn't have any affiliation with it. She doesn't know who the hell is doing this, but they upload every single TikTok of Michaela's <laughs> almost in the exact same order. Like her lash video from the other day has like 1.9 million views or something they're here on bad. YouTube. These are all shorts that they're posting because they're, they're her TikTok. Some of them do have like her little, like, you know, you save it and it gets like a little name floating around. Like maybe they did that if it's not her. I mean, I don't think it's her, but if it was, she's getting in her bag here on YouTube <laughs> because these people are getting hundreds of thousands of views. Some of these are almost into the like millions upon millions of views. Shorts are getting monetized. Like the begin, I think tomorrow, February 1st is yeah. when shorts are going to be monetized. Yeah. So if this is not really Michaela, which I don't think that it is. I'm excited for the shorts. I don't think, way. I don't think it is. I don't think it is her. Either. I don't think it is. Maybe not. Maybe it is. I don't think it's her. Here's my thing. This channel now has 289,000 subscribers. The last time that I talked about this or like even looked to see how many subscribers, it was like 149,000. Jesus. So this is going up. This is going up since Michaela has talked about this and said that this channel is not hers. So you're gonna let me believe, little old me over here, that you're gonna allow someone to upload all of your content, not switch it at all, get these hundreds of thousands, millions of views, and they're gonna monetize it, Michaela, and that's not you. And that's not her. <laughs> Doesn't have anything, like, I, like if this was a channel that had like maybe 
a thousand subscribers and they were still just uploading her stuff, then I would kind of understand it. Like, okay, maybe it's not her. But the fact that we're into like 289,000 yeah, subscribers and the amount of views that this is receiving. By the way, all the comments underneath these TikToks now are people calling her out. Like if this is not her, the shame on this person because every single comment below <laughs> is bashing the out of her calling her out as if this channel belongs to Michaela. Well, I mean, the people want to be heard, you know what I mean? Because oh, they're she being hasn't, heard. She hasn't even so much as acknowledged anything, and that's the thing for me. I feel like if she was being honest, she mm. would have already addressed this. Like, yeah. there's no reason why this should be going on this long. Yeah, there's really no reason that this should be going on this long. Like, L'Oreal hasn't said anything. I did see that L'Oreal is putting out like a $25,000 giveaway, like some kind of contest. And do you know who the face of it is? Don't Guess who? The, it's not. It's not Meredith. Meredith Duxbury, but you know her mascara. I can't stand her. that girl. Her, her energy post, is so gross. It wasn't sponsored. It was no, no, no. It, it, it was sponsored. sponsored. It wasn't an ad. It was sponsored. <laughs> sponsored. Like, <laughs> I don't know it's what so it is messy with, these, with them. Like. These TikTok influencers, they just don't care. And I, I hate the argument of people saying, oh, well, you do it for a bag too. Like, no, like you would sell yeah. out. You would just give up every bit of honesty that people watch you for, for money. Okay. Like money's great and everything, but you would never see me do something like that, especially with a platform with millions of people following you. That's what they follow you for. Like the whole, you do it for a bag argument. I don't want to hear it. And if you have that mentality, you're gross. I heard a theory that's like going around social media that Michaela feels like she might kind of like, be phasing out in her influence All department. Right? So she's trying to grab like whatever bag that she can and that's why every single post is something that is sponsored and something. I just love it. It's life changing like all of that. Trying to make the money. Yeah, but I don't think that I agree with that because she's still so, like either. in her prime. She's still going up in the numbers. Her videos are still getting like millions of views, some of them. So I don't think that. I definitely do not think this is like a Jacqueline situation. I don't either. But here's my thing. I think that TikTok blew up during COVID, right? Yes. That was the rise of TikTok and TikTok does a lot of things. That's that's YouTube does not do, right? But I don't think that TikTok is sustainable for creators like that because they do not make money like that. Also, that's why Michaela does so many sponsors. Yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> like that's how she's I making no her money. I with people doing sponsorships as long as they're honest and not mm. lying about it. Anything that I've ever put in a video and I've endorsed, like I've really thoroughly enjoyed or liked or it worked for me. You cannot be doing a sponsor post per day and continue that all year long for people to be like, I really trust everything and, that and this for, person And for like. me, it's the thing, like Michaela is the first to say, oh, this changed my life. Girl, you've went through so many life changes. Michaela's life changing it's and how everything has changed her life is Jacqueline's like, it's creamy buttery. and buttery. <laughs> everything is creamy and buttery. Oh my God, even like that blanket, it was creamy and buttery in some way. It was like the softest, most luxurious polyester. It's Manny's smoky yeah. eye and nude lip. Yeah. <laughs> Lord. So with that said, everybody, that is it for this video. Please let us know all of your thoughts and opinions down below. And if you made it this far, yeah. leave us a green heart emoji green in the comment section heart. down below because we're trying to see what's going on with I, YouTube right now. I didn't even know that you said that in the last video that we did together and I started receiving like a ton of green hearts and I it was, was like... Me. I was like, what was that? What's going on? It was my cloud. Like, let me comment back, of course. It was my cloud. All right. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye.